Hello boys and girls, this is Razor from East Coast Tactical Squad here to, you to, here to talk to you today about weaving your pouches into your Molly vest. Um, I will explain what that is in a second. Uh, right now you can see that um, these pouches have just been, I guess what you can say is standard, standard be connected to the Molly vest just by slipping the buckle in under the webbing to the Molly and then being buckled right there is how uh, most people attach their pouches to their molly vest and as you can see if I hold it up it kinda sags forward there's space in between it pulls very uncomfortable it allows for a lot of crap to get up underneath um, your pouches also when I used to do it this way I would find that my buckle right here and uh, a couple of the other ones would also come unbuttoned about every time I play and slip up at least to there and I was at risk of losing my pouches. So here at East Coast Tactical Squad we do something that uh, is called weaving our pouches into our molly gear and it just allows for a much firmer uh, a much firmer fit, a much more sturdy connection into your vest, doesn't allow for um, like I said, a buckle popping off and possibly losing your pouches. And what I mean by weaving here, as you can see, I just have the basic thread, like I said before. So weaving is pretty dang simple. If the buckles will work with me here. Give me half a second, fellas and ladies. And Psycho Cat. Sorry about that. My cat thinks this is all a huge game. Um, so anyway, what I mean by weaving is basically pretty simple. See the webbing on the back of your pouches? Webbing on the molly gear? You alternate. Take the webbing, take the strap, pass it through one of the webbing on the molly gear, and then take it and pass it through one of the pieces of webbing on your pouch. Now this is one-handed, so you guys should be impressed because this is a lot harder to do than it looks. Um, so then you just take it, slip it back up under the next piece of webbing on the molly gear, pull it up, and slip it, again, one-handed, one-handed, so let's see, let's see if this works. Slip it back up under the knee, underneath the next piece of webbing on your pouch. Now make sure after every time you pull as much slack as you can out of it, because it's going to be extremely tight. Um, once this gets done... You're go it's going to basically look like this, and you can see that when I pick it up, I mean, even then, you can s even just with that one, I, I haven't even buckled it yet, you can just see even with that one, um, one strap weaved through the webbing, you can see just how much of a more secure connection it is, how much less the mags, I mean, even just right there, how much difference it is from it falling forward on the vest, how much more securely it's fastened. So, um, I haven't even buckled it yet. So, um, by weaving in the mags, like I said before, this is just going to help a lot with just the jiggle, the hanging forward, the awkward maybe level of which your pouch pouches hang. Um, it's also going to make for a more secure connection. It's going to keep this buckle here from unsnapping and possibly slipping out. And uh, it's just a great way to um, make sure that your pouches stay connected to your vest. A lot more sturdier, a lot less problems. Alright guys, as you can see, this is the finished product, very securely fastened into the webbing on the molly vest. As you can see here, every other um, piece of webbing has been woven under and then over, and it is securely, very securely fastened, and it is not going anywhere. No more jiggles, no more hanging, no more unclasping of the button and possibly losing your pouches, and nothing like that. So that, my friends, is weaving your pouches into molly gear. Really great thing to do if you want to keep them close by and not risk losing them. Highly recommended. So hopefully that video helps. Any questions, comments, concerns, hit us up. Thanks, guys. And uh, we'll see you later. Next video.